And this is like where I start the perfect job at. I'm gonna have to give it different names and stuff like that so you know it's in the same series. But we are in search of the perfect job. Said there are certain things that I'm gonna have to get used to doing, which I, I really don't worry about that because I'm not so great. But let's look into the job of a, a well, we, we started with the computer animators and the, the tools that they used last night. But let's look into the job of the artist, one of the graphic designers, or say somebody that has to do the designs and come up with ideas and actually do the drawing. Okay, now what do you think they have to go through first of all? I mean, I'm, I know that there's a lot of videos out there, they have one for Ice Age and everything, and Ice Age shows everybody basically how uh, the movie was made all right and uh, as you can see I have like a bunch of files on here and I'm just going through some stuff right now but the thing about it that uh, makes this easy I want you to understand is that when you take something that's already done you know you want to modify it or change it let's just say for instance like uh, a program like this you would have to look at the file first and see what it looks like and see what you want to do with it okay now this is uh the book that was scanned through a scanner okay if you notice it's not uh all clear and everything like that okay if you see that little marks and everything on there that's because that's what the book looks like and now even though that's scanned this is the new version of it and let's see how we're going to show you the new version should not have anything on it well, it's going to have one thing on it, something that I just modified, and also, let's look at this. Okay, because I might have to modify it again. Okay, now remember I was telling you about in one of my videos, I was telling you how they create graphics and do animation and stuff like that. Well, this is a program called the GIMP. It's open source, so it's free. So you don't have to worry about, oh, i got to come up with some money and everything like that to find out what's going on with the graphics and stuff like that. Well, not the graphics, but with the uh, amount of money that you have to pay to use it because it's free so there's no license and everything like that now as far as what I was saying about fixing up or cleaning up your programs and stuff see sometimes we need to like work on our stuff people and make it look a little better if you notice I'm zooming in and you can see there's still marks and patches on here okay so what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of touching up and I'm going to take this book and I'm going to kind of straighten it out. It's not really a book, it's a cover. And uh, I'm going to take the, uh, thump, the eye drop tool, take some of the colors out so you can see that I'm using uh, the colors that's on the book. All right, now this basically is not important, but for some people it's, it's, a, it's important because you get to a point where, you know, you don't want to have like sloppy work. You know, a lot of times people want to say, well, why are you doing all that and stuff it's like something that is not annoying but it's just stuff that you know gets on your nerves when you're working on something and somebody gets to you and they say well why don't you uh put the book out and it looks all like messed up well that's just what we do people we get like to a point where we gotta have everything perfect and stuff like that so if you notice how i'm doing this right i, I use a special tool that that's called a lasso and the reason why I'm using lasso is because I only want to like do certain parts in the, um, the picture, and, uh, and that's all I want to color. I don't want to paint over anything else. I just want to paint in one spot, one area. So that's what the lasso is good for. Lasso kind of helps out when you're working with real nice stuff, and you don't want to change the format. It's like real tight and everything like that. You want to kind of keep it to a point where. It's not really going to be overlapping something else. The lasso also is kind of like, uh, well, let's just say it's a, a quick fix for certain things. Like you want to make things like as good as possible when you start doing the drawings. And it all depends on which, whether you're trying to you know, clean up and everything. Because a lot of this stuff is tedious unless you use a program like lasso. Well, not lasso. Well, not a program. I'm sorry. Let me apologize. It's not a program, it's an option that you can use to, uh, to do certain things. Let's just say we uh, want to clear, clean this up right quick. And make sure, people, that you use colors that look like closest you're going to get to the actual uh, painting or whatever, the drawing, what you're working on. Because a lot of us, we just do stuff and it don't even look right. It just, you know, we just do it because, 
oh well we're gonna uh work on this and it looks good and stuff no it doesn't look good people when you just don't be sloppy you no know, try, try to make your work look excellent if you can sometimes it takes a while to do certain things i don't try to eradicate the fact that I don't want to do all the work. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not using big words or anything like that, but I just don't want to be uh, stuck with the point of doing work over again twice. I just, I'm that kind of person that will do something and look at it and say, wow, I could have did better. So let's go up to the big part. Let's, let's show you how this last two thing really works. Like, it's, it comes in hand. Okay, so we're going to start here, you know, because we got the book thing going. I just want to, uh, I'm doing this really fast, but I I'm, I'm know I'm no, it like comes in handy with what I'm working on. So I fill that up. Well, I fill up all of the things that look like they need to be filled. I know I could have did a uh, better fill than that because it's going to be hard. But it doesn't matter because I'm painting this. So don't get me wrong, people. I'm not lazy. I just got to get an outline. Could have did this easy. This is much simpler if you do it this way. I'm telling you. Just take the paintbrush and then crease it. Make it large. Use the paint that you got. It already should be set. But if you want to make sure that it's right, get in there. Take the colors of the background. Okay, take the colors of the background. Go ahead and just do this. Get it on out the way. Then that way you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to paint over something already. I don't want to paint over it and mess it up. You can't really mess up a lot of you can if you don't know what you're doing but you know there's always ways of correcting stuff right and uh correcting things basically is what we try to do in life you know we all have these little problems we got going on it's like you know we try to make things perfect so nothing's perfect in the world but at least we want to try to make it look neat stuff like that okay so now there you have it we have at least a clean book and uh I didn't save it, so I'm going to save this program as, save as, well, let me uh, mark it first, I got to come up with something, I got to take the tool while cancel, all right, let me, let me do this right quick, all right, let me make this book, make sure, check everything, make sure it's right, oh, I got to do this too, right, thing, I'm always finding stuff out, and I don't want to find them out at the last minute, okay, so we got to do another lasso, all right. Let me zoom in on this because I want to make sure I get this right. Actually, I'm going to take this whole thing because we don't need this right now because defeating the purpose. Okay, get this color. Hmm? See, there's shortcuts to everything. And uh, most of that, you know, people attain or attribute to things in life where we actually want to get. We're not getting around stuff. We just find ways to make it easier in life. You want to, in a sense, do certain things and... Try not to make it hard on your life, you know, but some things, if you don't think smart or right, you wind up messing up anyway. So, um, not making up any excuses. Today is, uh, like I said, trying to get some things straightened out day. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on and we need to get things straightened out. Today I got my 1099s. I got all my 1099s today, so... Today is going to be kind of like one of those, uh, well, what are you going to do about filing your taxes? I haven't figured that out yet, but uh, we're not going to talk about taxes. I could show you, like I said, we, like, well, you don't need to know everything and what's going on in my life. I mean, you do already. You know, like, I'm having, like, those days and stuff where, I, like I said, I'm having a rough life and everything, and I'm not complaining about it, although I always do. So what's the difference, right? Well, anyway, this is just what I'm doing, cleaning up, making this book cover right. Always check and make sure that you don't close out your programs before you finish saving them. And now, another thing about saving stuff. Man, be careful what you do. Always save your work as you go along because there are times when you're working on something like a big project and you don't save it. And I learned this the hard way, right? That if you don't save your stuff as you go along, in the end, in the long run, you will regret it. Because sometimes you can be working on something and you make changes to it, and then you really didn't want to make a change like that. You get wound, you get caught up, and uh, well, you don't realize that you made that mistake yourself. Now, I just picked the magic wand. I shouldn't have did that because 
I mean, well, actually, I didn't need to do it because I'm working on something. I can just go to non-select, and I don't, I don't have none of that selected. Anyway, we're on non, so I don't have any of that selected. And this is basically now my front cover for anything. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as, okay. I'm going to save it as 101 JPEG, and it's probably already there. So I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to call it 1012, okay. 1012. I'll make it a JPEG. Because it's a full screen, so don't worry about that. The reason why it's cool because it's a full screen, I ain't got nothing left out and nothing in the background. So I'm gonna leave that as a uh, JPEG 101. Now, since I already got the program open, I'm just gonna close it for a minute. I wanna show you why I'm closing it because I have something I wanna edit. So right now, we don't need the, the window, that menu bar. Okay, yes, as you can see, obviously, this is a picture of me. All right, that's my head. And if you notice, like this head, right now, let's edit it. Well, the picture didn't show up in the paint because I didn't open the file. I'll open it inside of GIMP. Okay. I just wanted to show you something real quick. Um, open with, you know, I love my GIMP program. Okay. Now, there are several programs you may see me working with as I go along, and I use lots of them. Now, this is a picture what I use. This is me. Still, it's like a composited, composited picture. All right, now there's some things that you're going to probably like don't understand what compositing is. Compositing when you take two or three images and you make something out of it. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, I'm going to open up another file again on the outside with that directory you just saw. And this is what's on my thumb drive. And I'll show you how this works. Let's say, for instance, I have this picture and I put it there over somebody else's picture, right? Okay, basically this is what you do when you do compositing okay it's not hard you just have to understand what it is did you see what I just did okay I took that picture and I drug it on the screen all right which is how most of the stuff is done anyway they just drag things if you know how to manipulate it and use certain tools to move things around that's how you do it now the sizing I would have to change the size of my pictures in order to get you know bigger and put it on there and that's what you do when you scale it okay now make sure that you always move things around or scale it before you put them on there and stuff all right that's basically how people do things if you know what you're doing you cut and paste and stuff like that and this actually comes in handy when you're working on a picture or a program or with a program that actually allows you to do some things like editing photos okay this is just as good as Photoshop so don't get me wrong people I like I said I know it looks like it's hard but it's not really hard now when you want to make yourself a cartoon okay that's the thing about it you know you want to be careful that you don't just start doing everything because see like this here is one of my drawings I just drew this uh, real fast and I wanted it on there to show you how you know we can take things just anything and turn it into you know like I said put it on a drawing and stuff like that and a lot of us don't take the time to notice that you know look at the pictures that you see and a lot of them are coming up like that now this is basically what the graphic designer does you know, I don't have to do the scale I should have showed you I did this is a move tool that's what I wanted to get was that one this is the no this is the scale I'm sorry this is the move to did the wrong one anyway you can see if I wanted to I can layer this on top of that because I'm using what they call layering and it's either I can put this one on there you know I would have to shrink it down make it look like you know some make some sense or either I can give myself a bigger head like a bobble head and hook it up like that just kind of cool I think that's kind of funny in a sense so there's a lot of things that you can do with uh, photographs and pictures and stuff like that but uh, if I really wanted to you know I can make the head even bigger man that would even be much more fun but we won't go there 
okay we're going to take it back to this part right here so now this right here is like comp composition of stuff that I work with okay what I did so I'm not going to trip about it because it's uh, something that I can play around with so I'm just going to save it as save as this is me and I'm going to give it a name Demetrius 2 okay Demetrius 2 JPEG and since this hasn't been created I'm exporting it for the first time and we're going to call it Demetrius 2 JPEG now the thing about this is see if you notice there's some stuff on there I didn't clean it up but hey I'm not going to worry about that right now because that's not the important part what's important is if you know if you notice that you see these pictures in the background these little small pictures those are pictures of animated characters all right I can show you how things are done but what's most important is like okay when I took that thing I showed you about doing something with the head okay first of all if you notice I showed let me show you like one of the animated heads I mean one of the animated characters I'm sorry and then I'll show you what to do with your head if you wanted to okay I'm gonna open it with the gimp okay now as you can see I'm gonna make this program come up front because this is the one I want to work on I'm zooming in showing you a character now they got this thing that's called cropping I can move this around you notice that in the background that is gray the reason why this gray is here is because it's a layer and I'm going to show you what happens when you use the eraser tool okay when you use the eraser on something like this it says it stays white on this right if you notice this okay now first of all the reason why that's white because I'm coloring on let me show you this coloring on a layer okay see if you notice it right here this is the background this is what it sees all right now it's locked if I wanted to lock the background but it's not okay I just locked it and the reason why I just locked it because something I'm doing right now I'm using the eraser tool okay I'm erasing whatever's on the foreground okay this is just one layer this is not everything okay this is oh I'm sorry this is actually the page this is like the background my bad you can see it right there it says background okay but what I want to do is I'm going to show you that even if I would have had saved this I should have saved this as a ping in, instead of a, a JPEG because when you save it as a JPEG this is what happens you know you only get a chance to color whatever's highlighted whatever's in the box and everything so if you notice it's tedious to the work that I do but look what I can do to make this easier on myself when I put it back on move I gotta be real careful well I really ain't got don't have to be careful I know where it, it lies at where it's supposed to be in the uh, position and other because I can change the position at any time okay notice that I want to do the cleanup. This is kind of hard to do a lot of cleanup. Now, when I said with the lasso tool, you know that I could do that, the cleanup thing right around the edges and stuff. If I zoom in, okay, move over to the character. Let's see, I'm going to move it up. Okay, now, that's if I wanted to go through all that. It's tedious, but it's like drawing again. Why would I want to draw this all over again? See, I start with the dot and then I can work with that around and go all around the area right that takes some time people I'm telling you it's not easy that's almost like when you think about it it's like drawing the picture all over again all right why would you want to do that when you can just simply take the tool which is simpler okay I'm gonna move this back here take it like this all right I'm gonna move everything put it back and use a magic wand and you said why why would you use a magic wand well this is why you have a magic wand people so you can do stuff like this if you notice okay the magic wand has cycled outside of everything and I just hit the leak and clean it up isn't that cool see that makes it easier so you don't have to go through all that partial drawing stuff now a lot of this a lot of times magic wand doesn't work all the time so you got to use the common sense take the magic wand and or also use the, la the lasso and work them together that's the best thing to do okay 
because a lot of people don't understand that you know you don't want to take all day working on your artwork and drawings when you got other stuff to do all right now the reason why I showed you this is because you got to work like fast as possible in some cases some people will not let you work and do whatever it is that you do and you know you feel like well okay I can do this job but they got a time limit you know people they like always want things fast in a hurry so that's why you have to you gotta limit your time on certain things you know you gotta do things and a lot of people don't realize it but you know sometimes we have to do things in a certain uh, amount of time and everybody see that's what we all uh, tend to fail to realize people we don't have time to, you know for everything we got to work things in a certain amount of time so I'm just going to go with the lasso right and just do what I got to do real quick and this is what I'm cleaning up now you, do, you know that people get paid for doing this it's called cleanup work people people get paid for cleaning up other people's drawings that's like cleaning up behind somebody or, or cleaning up their mess and stuff. You know, they got people that clean up artwork and stuff when people do drawings and stuff like this. Now, if you noticed, right now I'm doing some stuff that's kind of like, it looks like it's tedious, but it's best to do it this way. Instead of going through all that trouble trying to get something done that you uh, know you don't need to be going through. Okay, but anyway... That's just the basic stuff that you do, okay? Now, I know I sound like I'm taking too much time working on this. We got one more thing to show you, okay? And it's called, well, this is not cropping. I'm just cutting this. But I will crop it in a minute. Okay, now. Now that it's ready to be cropped. Now that's cropping, okay? I just cropped something. And if you notice... This is the only picture left on this page now. This is all I got, okay? All I got to work with right now. And this little guy right here basically is just how to do things and animate. All right, let's say for instance, uh, this is just one character. Delete that, clean it up. And we're gonna non select, take the eraser, and make sure the little guy is clean. Sometimes you might want to leave these extra lines on there so you can line them up and match uh, where you want to lay it out at. But let's just say, for instance, this little guy right here, okay, he actually is part of my display and animation, all right? Now, I didn't create the character as you know, I, but I can. I do draw. So, that, check this out. Which is better? Do you think that I should work with this character? It's a non-select and make it smaller. Okay, here we go. Correct that. Clean it up. All right. Now, which one do you think is best for me to do? I mean, I'm just asking your honest opinion. I know a lot of you probably saying, like, why is he asking me for my opinion? Well, okay. I would think this is just an example. All right. I have already did a drawing. Okay. Now, you notice this is my head. All right. And I can take my head and put it on here. And it's kind of neat, huh? Well... I just moved that over there. Let me move it again. Now you notice that I can clean this up if I want to. Which, that looks kind of crazy and stuff. It's fun. It would be fun, right? If I took that and I was to use it in an animation. I mean, I take the bodies and stuff part right there. Would you rather see that one on there? Or, let's say for instance, I should have made these heads already. Well, watch how fast I do this, okay? I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to take this and open it up in another window. Now, you're saying, why is he doing all that? Okay, well, number one, we're going to do it this way, okay? As far as my character is concerned, I drew this. And now, remember what I said? I said, I drew this. So, it's not like, oh, somebody else is doing the drawing and stuff like that. I did this myself, okay? and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna crop it <laughs> I gotta do that okay basically I like cropping my work when I have to work on a certain thing uh, this right here for instance this is crop and okay there we got 
Now, if we want to, we can go into, you know what tools we're going to use, right? Yep, you got it. Okay, we're going to do the magic wand, so we're going to work fast. Okay, and take that and get the face clean up. All right, let's go for the eyes. Okay, now let's do a little bit of tweaking. We're going to zoom in on the eyes so we can get a little bit more detail let's go with some more clean all right here let's do this lasso here okay now let's say we're going to start doing the lasso around here we're going to work that out and we're going to do a couple of the same steps right here and we're going to stop right there okay now i can erase all of that but i don't want to erase all of it i just want to erase certain things that's the stuff that's necessary so let's just erase like a little a little of it, not all of it, just some of the stuff. We're going to increase our scale on the brush. Okay, now, got that out the way. That looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Okay, that out the way. And, okay, I got that. Now, let's do one more lasso. And we're going to start here. Try to go around that. And, oh, well, let's start another one. Do a little bit more here go right there and end it okay now let's go back to the eraser tool and erase only certain things we don't want to erase everything just enough where we get around the areas that's necessary all right okay now we got that out the way okay so we got that and we don't need any more lassos so we select and none Go back out and see how it looks. All right. Now, how's that? Okay, so now my question is, which is the best one, which best picture, which would be best for me if I'm going to work on my drawings? Which is the best one for working with? Now, take this. Oh, my bad. Move. I'm sorry. I have to turn that off and come out of that. I'm going to do this right quick. This will be easier because I know if I cut and paste it, I could select all this and copy it. Now, you know that's the way of doing it, but let's say you saw how I drag and drop that one on there first, right? But I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to copy this. Okay. And I'm going to paste it over here in this one. Select. And I'm going to paste it in this one. Okay. Now that's kind of like it's too big. You know that's not going to work. So I, if I move this, that's going to be kind of like messed up in a way. So I'm going to undo it. Edit. All right. And I'm going to undo the paste. Because it's easier. To me, I mean, I know I don't have to do this, but it's easier if I just save this and just take it over later, you know, because I got so much stuff to worry about. I'm not, I don't have really have much time to worry about the drawings and stuff. Because if I save it anyway to the desktop, I'm gonna save it as a temporary image anyway. This is easier to, you know, save you some time and stuff. Okay, save as. I'm gonna save. Like, um, my life has a joke, but I'm going to save it not on the thumb drive, but on the desktop. That way, it can go, and I don't have to worry about, you know, finding it again. I know exactly where it's at. Okay, now, if you didn't see where it went, basically, it's right here on the desktop. This makes it easier to find. Okay, so what I can do, take this, drag it onto there, and... If you notice it, it's bigger than the other picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it and take it down. Maybe I did size it. Here, let's try to see what happened. Uh, it's all outside the opening. Did I resize that? I think I did. Oh, that was my fault. Let me see. I'm going to probably have to do that. Do not save. Okay, see if you notice what I just did, people? Exactly what I said not to do. Alright. Now, obviously, you're going to say, like, wait a minute, didn't you just erase your uh, picture? 
Yes, I did. And you know why? Because I didn't save it. Like I said, save your pictures, save your work, people. Always save your work, no matter what. Okay? Because when you don't, this is what happens. Okay? But since we already know how good I am and what I do, you know, it's like this is just what happens in life, people. You know, we make mistakes and we do what we can to correct them. Okay? So I'm going to save that as, so you can see how it's done, save as, that's on the desktop anyway, so save it, okay, um, export it, and save it. See, now you know why it's cool to save stuff, but see, now if you didn't notice what I did, alright, remember the file that I had on the desktop, what I did earlier? Okay, think about that. Remember I said about my picture? That me having the picture already done, I can get away with this. Okay, see, notice the picture. And I scanned already. Okay, we're just going to have to clean it up again, but it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Like I said, with the GIMP again. I'm going to open it. Okay. This is just by an example, people. This is not exactly what you have to do. Alright. But let's just say, for instance, anyway. I got this done. And since it's saved, we know I saved it this time. We're going to make sure it's saved. Save as. Okay, now we just save and we're going to replace it, close it, just export it. Okay, now we're saving that, make sure it's saved. So we're closing this one. Now we're going to take this one and drag it onto this one. Alright. Okay, so move it down. If you notice, I overlapped it on that picture. And I'm going to scale it now. Well, actually, watch what I do. Notice the magic wand. When I tap this one on, this is a foreground now. It's, it's just, uh, well, actually, you didn't see it. I just told it to, well, let me erase it. It should be on top of the other one. Hmm. That's strange. Just me calling it strange. All right. If you notice, there's a background. This is should it should this should right now be erasing. I don't know why it's not, but anyway, I'm gonna lock the background so I don't mess that up. Hmm. This is crazy. Well. Anyway, let me see if I can get this in mind because I think it's probably set the way I got my layers locked on there. Okay, it says that the background was locked, but it wasn't. Control Z, Control Z. That's like that one. And. Okay. Maybe I need to just go on and crop this. I'm going to crop this and edit it. It's, it's getting tedious and stuff like that. So I'm going to close this one. No changes. No. You know what? I almost made that mistake again. This is the one that we don't want to change. Okay. So let's take it back a couple of steps. Undo, 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 undo. We're going all the way back. Undo that. So we can't undo it anymore. Okay. My bad. Yeah, let's just go ahead and edit this and crop it already. Because if I saved it as a pain, it would already did that. So let me open this with the other GIMP. Okay. Now, let's crop it first. Get it small enough to work with. Mm, that would align it. I don't want to align it. I'll just check something out right quick. 
Okay, I'm going to crop this. Alright, and I'm going to save it as a ping. Because PNG somehow, uh, I don't know why they do that. I they look that up and find out, but I'm going to save it as a PNG. Okay, now the reason why I say that as a PNG because for some reason, remarkably, it overlaps without me having to do anything to it. Now, why it does that, I have no idea. Okay, but let's see what happens. This time we're going to copy the PNG over into there. Alright, now I think if I did it right, yeah, well, anyway, here, yeah, this is what we're doing. Okay, now what I said, I'm going to resize it. Okay, I'm resizing it. Okay, I scaled it. Alright, now, I'm just asking, I know I took a minute to go through all that, and it, it was kind of like rough, but look, this is what I do, the, the correct stuff, okay? The creep, the makeup for the stuff that I just messed up, okay? Moving right along. Now, say as far as as a head which one do you think which one do you think would be the best one to put on there this head or this head that's what I'm saying I mean I think if, if anything is it gonna be me as far as a cartoon I said a cartoon not a tycoon people alright I mean this can be done easily like that okay so I tell you you your, your choice is you got this head on top of that body, which looks like this, which makes more sense. Or, okay, now, which makes more sense, or the other one. Which one you think is best? That's your choice. I think, well, actually, to be honest, I'll take that one, the one that's here right now. That looks more real. Okay, so let's just say we're going to save this as, save as. Um, we're going to call that step 25 because we don't want it to have anything to do with the other one. Okay, I'm going to export it and we're going to save it. Now the reason why I save it at step 25 because when I close it, okay, we can open up the other one. Uh, open up recent step five. Okay, and it's two. It must be ten thirty. Oh, ten o'clock. They doing it early. Okay. So, people, my question is: Do we want this one? Or do we want? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. All right, we gotta go into the folder again. Let's say, do we want that one, or do we want this one? Which one do you think is best? I mean, just tell me. Oh, I'm not gonna ask you. Uh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to open with the GIMP again. Okay. But if I was going to do a character, which one would you prefer? That one or that one? Okay. So, the one on the right actually should be the one that you prefer. So, let's just say, for instance, we're not even going to worry about that one. That one's x out. So, we're done with that one for now. Okay. So, let's go back into this one. And we're going to save it. And we're going to work on that one for a minute. But the the reason why I said that, if you took your time to do, okay, we're going to edit this, make it look a lot better. No, we're going to have to do that anyway. Because we're on the body. And let's just, oh, before I go into the detail, I'm going to clean it up real fast because I'm going to actually put it somewhere else that's necessary to work with show you this in a minute you're gonna say like wow you know that's interesting 
but the best thing I'm doing right now is cleaning up all the you know little things stuff that lets uh, make stuff hard and tedious you know not, I'm working on the extra uh, you know the extra stuff that most of us don't want to work on when you know we get to a point where graphics are are hard okay now if you notice now that I got this cleaned up and everything like that I'm gonna unselect all I don't want to select none now before I go into it I want to try to do one little thing and match these colors up and let's just say we're going to use my color use the eyedropper pick a color right right here and we're going to use the paint no not the paint tool that's a little too big uh, okay well now we can work with that okay try to match the colors up as best as possible so you don't have to do so much work when you do your cleanup and everything like that that's the hard part is making sure everything is right when you're doing some cleanup work okay now they got certain tools and everything like that that you can use that you know make it easier to work with and everything like that but we won't have to get into that right now because I'm just showing you this real fast and you see how easy uh, you can get distracted you know uh, okay let me bring it over there kind of get it to a point okay now what I just showed you basically is how the characters develop okay now I'm going the easy way out and stuff but I can show you how easy you can go into it I mean it's like you know this is something that you have to think about okay you don't have to think about it but I will ask you if it's easier for you to do that now does that look better to you I mean I think this looks a lot better so I'm gonna save this stuff save it as save as save as itself okay now let me check back on I'm gonna check on the uh, well, the optimization of my uh, if you're gonna take a character that you just created there's two choices that well that's not two choices you have a multiple amount of choices what you want to do I'm just going to show you how I edit this in another program all right I'm gonna create uh, what they call a sprite and uh, the sprite that I'm creating or that I'm editing I know I did not I hope I didn't save that oh well I saved it that's the head um, I saved it somewhere else you know obviously I had to save it somewhere else now you know this is like something that uh, you don't have to go through if you don't want to I mean I'm just saying a lot of times people just say well Demetrius you take too much time explaining things well I'm not trying to explain everything I'm just trying to get you to a point where you see how stuff is not so easy to work with it's not difficult either if you take the time to work with it now notice this it's just only one drawing okay I'm gonna edit the sprite show you a preview of it and this is like just the image this one image okay and okay now if you notice I got more options of editing this program but this is just for a game design okay I'm not going to do anything about it right now um, I can scale it crop it do anything I want with it but right now I want to just shift it and move it okay vertically I want to move it down that's why I left the lines in there people okay because when you get to doing stuff like that it makes it easier okay but check this out if you noticed it when uh, I told you about how you save it a certain way with the PNG file this already actually does this right here okay you notice I'm drawing in the head up in the head part where the hair of that that's cause that's because since the hair was already created it's from another part it's from the other file but I'm able to um, draw up in there in the area where the hair would be okay now I know it doesn't match the colors and stuff like that but 
hey, it's better than it was, right? Than uh, the other thing was. So, okay, now let's look at the hair. We got the character and everything like that. Okay, and that's because it's black and uh, whatever. You know, it's black and gray. That's what it should be anyway. My hair is gray. And it didn't come from worrying people. This is not something that I, I was worried about. Okay, notice the character. Okay, people, tonight. Okay, now the thing finally comes up from the last video and man that took a while okay now I'm just doing a little touching up and stuff like that you don't have to go through all this this is now I just think if you have to do all your pictures like this all right that's why I'm saying this is an easier way of doing it and you also like I said you don't have to go through all this I just do it because I can. Alright, now, but anyway, let's just say, for instance, you got a magic wand on this too, as well. So, now look at the character. Okay, we're using our magic wand. We're going to take some of the stuff out, delete that, and delete that. And now look what we have. Okay? We have a perfect character for animation. Now zoom in on this. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, well, I will have to use these tools to zoom. Okay, but if you notice, like I said, the drawings and everything like that, cleanup part is up to you how much you want to clean it up. But this is how they basically use characters and make characters up for graphics and stuff like that and that's all I want to show you now this I'm gonna save it as a sprite save as okay remember what I told you about save it as a PNG file okay I'm gonna save this on the desktop I'm gonna say PNG file and I'm gonna save it to the desktop so we can go to it right away or let's just say anyway I'll save it to the desktop I'm getting out of this program real quick cuz I don't need this right well I can save it might as well uh, okay I'm gonna save this one test it's a test okay I didn't give it no room or names and stuff like that that's the reason why uh, it's not complete right now people but don't worry about it it's uh something I have to deal with in a little bit okay so I'm gonna exit that and security alert that was for the panda cloud all right and going back one more time if you notice this file says test that test basically is for um, the game maker but I'm not going into that right now I'm going back into the GIMP one more time showing you the PNG file and you know the best program to use to do uh, PNG files with is not well I won't say nothing about the GIMP and stuff the GIMP is okay to use and stuff like that but there's a program by Macromedia that does very good PNG file but if you notice have you noticed that the background this time is already taken care of and erased and stuff like that so this is why I was saying about saving files in PNG format because you get this already done and everything so you don't have to worry about the cleanup as bad and everything like that so this is why we work with PNGs and I'll get an explanation of what they are but not right now okay this is just trying to say what you do to clean up 
and make the character all right so the next video moving right along I mean this basically is like an all-day thing if you notice how hard it is tedious but this is what you do when you're a graphics designer now all this stuff remember what I told you clean up is like the hardest the best the, well that's not the hardest part is rendering is uh, also hard too so you want to do that and get all that out the way and clean up all the stuff that you necessarily need to clean up and stuff but right now we're going to uh, get outside of that we're not going in the this is not that story about cleanup okay we're not going to go in there just going to do the PNG to clean like areas that necessarily need to you know just work out and stuff like that and there you have it okay that's how characters are developed all right next step I will show you in uh, another video I'm going to show you how they turn them to 3d characters and I know you're going to probably like wonder, wow, how does he do all that? Okay, now you got to make a choice to take the decision. The fastest way to do it, all right, is if you use a program like 3D Studio Max, if you're used to working with them already, if you know how to do that. But what I just did, people, if you noticed it, Right. Sometimes it takes time to do stuff, right? But we uh, don't want to take that time to do it. But if you noticed how I saved this, and like I said, I saved it as a PNG file, and that's it. That's how I get my characters. All right. Now what good is that for okay notice that the PNG character right there that's the one character that takes up animation to do stuff like this okay oh by the way that game designer that's what this does okay so you wind up making games like this so the first game that I start playing around with I learn how to do if you notice this is uh not my first game my first game is uh right now part of that game design program if I run it well that's what they call the first game so but that's what this program created okay if you notice this is a sprite and everything like that okay and I got a room for it to go in I have to create a room this was a room that I created on the screen that's what made that screen up okay so all the different characters that they ask them for another room and instance and stuff like that if I wanted to I can put other characters on there more and more and more more all over right as many as I want okay but that's not what I want to do okay all I just was showing you that that's how that turns out now if I want to show you something that I'm working on notice this this is another game that I'm working on this is not my game yet but if you notice the screen it's like playing a game and you can do this alright notice my head See, I got the head in there and the skull. Okay, that's not my game, but think about the possibilities. All right. 
I can do this. You know why? Because I just did. Alright? So, I'm working on a game right now. A lot of you probably saying, well, what, what have I created and stuff? Okay, well this is like what I said. I'm working on a game and I'm showing you right now this is just a uh, preview of it it's not the actual game but I'm working on it and this is uh, the, the introductory screen you know we're talking about the perfect job you know that doesn't exist but what if there was a perfect job you know then it would be something like this in the game sense okay now watch this Mm-hmm. Takes a little time. Okay. Notice. See, did you see that? I know you're saying like, "What is that?" Wait a minute. Yup, that's it. That's just a little sample of a perfect game. Okay, turn it up a little. Not like it's gonna make a difference. Okay, now when you go to help, see your job is to make the perfect game. Your job, the perfect job. Alright, that's your job. And notice how I made the credits. It's me. Credits. And also, you know, I didn't do the music. That's free music. Okay, check the scores. And this is the start. How to find a perfect job. Okay. That's it. Alright, so anyway people, I know that's been long and everything like that, but I have to bring it to an end because going into another session, this is a day, all day, if you can deal with it, alright, I have to, you know, check out some stuff and look at this video and edit it and make sure that it's right, it takes time to do that, so anyway, just remember about the character development and everything and how you can get stuff in there, and uh, I'll be seeing you. And that's it. Oh, I guess I have to say goodbye.